Hey, what's up? It's Weird Beard from Checkpoint XP covering Valorant all weekend for the Valorant Masters Tournament. If you want more information about what's going down, head over to our website at CheckpointXP.com. Right now, we have on the line Sick. Sick, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. So, you know, it's got to feel good. You guys are obviously coming off a win here over LG. Um, it seems like you always have a pretty solid matchup when it comes to LG. You guys are 2-2 two and two now from meeting up uh, all time. Uh, what is it about LG that seems to be one of those teams that just seems to consistently keep taking you guys to overtime? Um, I think we have a hard time against their individual skill. Like some of them pop off like an insane amount. So uh, I think it took us a bit um, to learn how to like counter that because we're not used to teams like being out aimless, honestly, because we're we're pretty heavy in that in that aspect. Like just, our skills just good. a little bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so I think it took us a couple matches to like really get in the groove of how to beat them and um. Yeah, we ended up figuring it out, so that's nice. <laughs> cool. And, you know, like, one of the other things, too, is, uh, and I've talked to everybody so far, that it's been wild to see Arena and a Sage uh, get played, you know what I mean, in, a, in mm -hmm. a sa the same comp in this tournament. Uh, are you guys practicing with a comp like that? Like, what is it about picking some of these people that six months ago would have never found their way into a lineup? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like, specifically Sage on Icebox, you have to have her now, so that's, like, uh, shoot in but for the arena i'm not sure if that's meta but we just do it anyway because like uh sinatra really liked uh arena and um uh, ten just had to fill that so i think arena is like kind of a weird pick to be honest but she has her like uses on pistol rounds and and she's really a hard carry but mm -hmm. i think she might be swapped out for raise eventually we don't really know but um we'll see how the meta unfolds i guess um, and, you know, like, of course, the storyline for this entire time with you guys in this tournament is going to be, hey, you have a brand new teammate about two days out from the beginning of this tournament. Um, you know, like, what does it feel like? And, and does that place extra pressure on you guys? Or do you feel less pressure to win because you do have somebody new on the team, essentially? I think we feel a lot less pressure just because um, our expectations uh, in general for our team are very high because obviously we've been you know, statistically number one, at least for yeah. quite a few months now. So it's it, it takes a lot of pressure off our shoulders and we don't have to worry too much about messing things up because obviously people don't expect us to do well. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that gives us actually an edge in a sense. Like, uh, uh, even though it sucks to have a stand in, I, I think um, we're not too worried about it because we know or we have good fundamentals. So, yeah, we're, I think it helps us, to be honest. Cool. And, you know, like, it's also probably got to help when you see both Tens and Shazam popping off. You know what I mean? Like, they were just going nuts. And especially yeah. on Xbox, or Xbox, on Icebox, uh, Tens just running through smokes, kind of doing whatever he wants to do. Um, how does it feel to be playing with people, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, that are just <laughs> having a ball when, when they're out there? It feels really good, like, because I'm a more maybe more of a supportive player on the team uh, in some senses. So... It's nice to see like people just run in and get a bunch of kills and like oh, my my job's done cool. I guess yeah and I don't have to worry too much and then I get set up for a lot of clutches too in that sense so it feels good to play with such incredible players and uh, yeah it's obviously really gives me a lot of confidence going forward. So one of the things that I I, I want to look forward to past Valorant Masters uh, is the one character that's absent from this tournament that's going to be in next is Astra. Um, you know, I've seen a comment from you saying that Astra is absolutely broken in matchmaking. Are you excited to see her in pro play or is this kind of like, dear God, I hope not? I think it's going to be honestly good for the future of the game because um, with the controllers, it's been weird. Like no one wants to play Viper people no, don't really want to play brim yeah. so it's just uh. like so it's just like it's just like you only have omen yeah. so i hope that like um i hope that she's used honestly even though i might not like playing against her uh i think she'll be good for the future of the game because you won't just have omen all the time and maybe you can swap out uh omen for asha so uh I, i'm excited to see how she's played but i'm worried about the the results with like having to go against her i guess yeah and i mean like that you touched on it the other two controllers are are broken you know what i mean like not in a good sense like broken like they don't work do you think that brim or viper are ever going to get to a point of being like playable in this level or is it mm. just you know hey whenever you go back down to iron and silver you can you can play them if you want there yeah well i actually think viper might be a good pick it's just like so many people will see her and it's like she takes too much um coordination and too much preparation and like too many lineups when you can just you know, throw a smoke in, in this little form as Omen and, like, be done with it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think Viper can be meta, but she's just, like, she's not... Uh, it takes, like, someone who's really good at understanding her to be useful. So 
I think she might come into play eventually, but Brim, like, I don't know. He, he's, he's just boring. Like, I don't think people like playing him. No, <laughs> they, they, nobody wants to stare at an iPad for yeah. half, half the game. Um, you know, and last question here before I get you out of here. Um, you know, we've had changes. Tens is on the, the roster now and everything. Um, and it's definitely got to be a change in, in team chemistry and what you guys are doing. Looking forward past this tournament, um, you know, are, do you know anything that's going to be happening with the future and position of tens, or is it more just you guys are, are playing, you know, a game at a time? Yeah, I think we're just playing a game at a time right now because obviously with tens, like the roles don't fit necessarily, but we just make it work because he's such a good player. I think if he wanted, I think if we like won the tournament or something crazy like that, maybe we think about, you know, buying him. I don't know how much he costs, but you know, <laughs> but, but, but maybe he could become a rifler. Who knows? Like yeah. he's insanely talented with a rifle. And I, I think, um, Shaz wouldn't want to give up his off role because he's just strong at that. And, and, you know, Tins is a better rifler than him. Probably. I, it's just, it's just true. And, uh, and then Shazam would have yeah. to stop playing jet. And I don't know yeah. how he would take that. How he would but take think, that. But yeah, to answer your question more, I think we just take it game by game, and like mm -hmm. if we manage to do super well, then uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think Sentinels will buy him, but who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Well, here's to the future. I guess we're going to have to find mm -hmm. out, see if you guys win this all. You have a pretty good shot. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today, man. No problem. See ya.